Hey everyone, it's John. Today I'm going to do a, this is about a year and a half update on this uh, Golden Hour men's watch. So first off, this has been a fantastic watch. I'm going to go over a couple of things that are not my favorite with this after having it for uh, about a year and a half, and then some of the things that I really love. So a couple of things that are not my favorite. This is a little bit of a louder watch. So if you listen right here, you can hear it ticking. And I think that's just something that you're gonna deal with with watches in this price point. It's not a huge negative. I keep this on my bedside table. It's not something that I really hear or that keeps me up. But I just wanted to make a note of that. If, it, if you're sitting like this, say, at a computer screen uh, and it's this close to your ear, you will notice that tick. So that's the only that's the one thing I've noticed. Also, it's a little bit more of a rattly watch. I want to make a note of that. To me, this isn't really a negative because I use my hands a lot when I am talking and expressing myself. And so in conversation, I end up doing this. And the watch just makes a little bit of noise, a little bit of a jingle. But I think that kind of draws attention to this, which goes into some of the positives. This is an extremely good looking watch. I'll show you the watch face here. And I've gotten so many compliments on this watch. Almost every time I wear it out, I've gotten compliments. And that was the thing that really sold me on this watch within the first week is I started getting compliments almost on day one. Uh, that's a very nice watch. Where'd you get it? And I just have to tell them it's not an expensive watch and I got it on Amazon. But it's just pretty incredible for at this price point, the amount of compliments and people think that it is a much more expensive watch than it actually is. And then one piece of helpful advice on this, after wearing this watch through a couple of time changes, I did notice that my date would be off after the time had changed. And one thing to note with this, if your date is off, all you need to do is, for instance, if you're changing the uh, time and you're going one hour ahead, you need to go all the way around twice in order for that date to sync up. I'm not exactly sure why that is, but you do need to do that. If you just go around once or roll it back once, the date will be off on the next day. So whenever you're making a, a date adjustment, you just need to roll that dial around twice. So you go to the past the 12 twice, and then uh, set your time and your date will be right. So that's one thing that after wearing this through a couple of time changes and being through that, I dug into the manual and that's what they said to do. So all in all, this is a fantastic watch. I'm still wearing it a year and a half later and I am still getting compliments. So that's a quick uh, update on this watch. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.